KTVU South Bay reporter Jesse Geary is live at the summit on Highway 17 with more on this. Jesse. Greg, good afternoon to you and a day after the storm. Picture perfect conditions down here in the south. Blue skies, bright sunshine, puffy white clouds, and the remnants of the storm, which made it difficult from getting here to there. In the Santa Cruz Mountains, the clearing overhead does not extend all the way to the ground. There's a big eucalyptus tree down over there, so we can't get in from yeah, that we just side. Came from down, we just came from down there to try to get back home, but we came out this way. I don't know why we can't get back in now. The 2900 block of Glen Canyon Road is a road to nowhere. A down tree limb also took out power lines. I'm on standby until bucket trucks get here. PG&E and the CHP closed the road out of safety concerns. A lot of closures, slowing down traffic, and it's happening kind of throughout the county, so it's a, a lot to, to deal with in a, a short period of time. Across the area, debris, limbs, and power lines littered several roadways after a potentially record-setting storm for October. We're really at the mercy of Mother Nature with these events because they're so widespread. It's not something that's small and contained. It's something that's you know, at the landscape level. An evacuation center at San Lorenzo Valley High School packed up Monday and crews cleaned the gymnasium area where a handful of evacuees had stayed. One family tells Fox 2 they live in a burn scar area and left as a precaution. Our real concern was the high likelihood that we could see um, the movement of earth due to the downpours. Luckily, we have not had major reports of debris flow. The pressing issue as the day after turns into the following night how to get someplace on some roads that, for now, lead no place. We came out to get some provisions, but now we're stuck out. So I guess we'll go have some lunch and see if they clear the line. <laughs> pg and officials, as well as first responders, advise people, if you see a downed power line, don't drive past it or drive over it. Just go around a different way. We're working to get numbers as far as power outages here in Santa Cruz County. Hopefully we'll have that for you coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, we're live in Santa Cruz County. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. We'll head back to you up in Oakland. Cleanup could certainly take some time. Jesse, thank you.